Hello again, everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to set up conversion tracking, but using the event specific uh, method on LinkedIn ads. Um, so this is particularly good for when you don't have a thank you page or confirmation page. Um, so you can't, you know, so if you can't use the uh, confirmation page um, or thank you page method or page load method on conversion tracking on LinkedIn, then you'd need to use something um, called event specific. So we're going to be basically creating a conversion when a, an event happens on our website. So in this case, for this example, um, I'm going to be using this button click on the submit button. But this could be, you know, um, a call to action uh, button click on your website, like if somebody, you know, downloads a PDF or signs up for an event or, you know, requests more information. Any event that you can think of, you can set up an event specific conversion action for for your conversion tracking in LinkedIn ads. So um, first of all, uh, to do this, you need to go to your log into your uh, LinkedIn um, ads uh, advertising account. Uh, navigate to your campaign manager of the ad account that you want to uh, set up conversion tracking for. Um, as again, I'm just going to use use this uh, demo account that I've got um, that I did the previous video on. So, in your analyze section, you go down to conversion tracking, um, and you'll see that we you know we've already got our thank you page set up. But this time, we're going to be creating a new online conversion by going to create conversion online conversion. And this time we're going to be doing a call to action button click. So we're going to be tracking when the button is actually clicked and tracking that as a conversion. Um, I'm going to call that a lead. Um, if you want more information about these settings, then watch our other video when we were doing just our easy guide to LinkedIn uh, conversion tracking. Uh, but I'm just going to fill this in uh, really quickly. I'm not going to put in the conversion value. I'm going to leave the time frame uh, conversion window for a 30 day click and seven day view. And also I'm going to make sure that it's last touch, last campaign. Um, next step, I've got no campaigns that to add here. So I'm just going to leave that. Uh, blank. We don't have to do this now anyway, so I'm going to skip that step. If you do have campaigns you want to add your conversion to now, then you can do, um, but you don't have to do this at this point. Um, so click next step. This is where we get to actually defining um, our conversion and actually setting um, this conversion up. So first things first, we need to make sure that we're on the event specific, so we're not using page load. We're going to be using event specific. So this changes the options that are available to us. Secondly, we're going to be using a tag manager. So we're not going to be doing this manually. We're going to be using Google Tag Manager. And then if we scroll down, we get two bits of information that are going to be key for us here. Um, so make sure we're on event specific. Make sure you're on the tag manager uh, tab. The first is the partner ID. This is our insight tag idea ID. And then the second is the conversion ID for Google Tag Manager. So those are the two pieces of information that we just need to keep a hold of. We can even copy that now if we wanted to. Um, but essentially, we're going to need those pieces of information. Right. So this is the site that I'm going to be using. So this is a fake shop, but this could be, you know, any this page could be any page, any type of contact form, any type of uh, button that's clicked. But we're going to be tracking when this button is clicked. Right. So we're going to go to Google Tag Manager. And you need to already have Google Tag Manager set up and installed on your site, on your website. Um, so this Google Tag Manager container is already set up and installed on this. We do have a video of showing you how to do that and also a blog post of how to do that. So I'll put that in the description. Um, Google Tag Manager um, will allow us um, to basically, basically we can use Google Tag Manager to set this, this, this conversion tracking up. Um, we've already uh, installed the LinkedIn Insight tag via um, Google Tag Manager. So now we're just going to set up the conversion tracking. But first things first, we need to configure our variables. So we're going to go to the var variables option on the left hand side and we're going to go to configure. Then we're going to scroll down on the left, uh, sorry, the right hand panel and we're going to go to the click section and just make sure all of the click section is checked. And while we're here, I'm just going to include the forms one as well because. That's always good to have in the future. You might need them. Uh, so while I'm here, I'm going to do that. Um, and then we can come out of here. And you'll see that those will be added. The second thing I'm going to do is go to triggers. 
And now I'm going to set up a trigger just for clicks and all clicks. So this is a trigger for all clicks on our site. So we go to trigger configuration box. This brings up the right hand panel again. And we're going to go click and all elements. And I'm going to leave that on all clicks. I'm going to hit save. So now I've got a trigger for all clicks. Okay, that's going to tell me when a click happens on our website uh, when we use the preview debug mode. I'm also going to do, while I'm here, because just to show you that you can do this, I'm going to do forms, all forms. So because we um, added that data layer variable <coughs> option, excuse me, of forms, uh, form submission, um, we well we, we've got this uh, trigger for a form submission, and we've got data layer layer variables that we've added, which are form data layer variables. So I'm going to click forms or forms, and this is a trigger that fires when any form on our website is submitted. I'm going to save that. So we've got two of these, these triggers now. So once that's done, I'm going to go to this preview button. And I'm going to enter into the Google Tag Assistant preview mode. I'm going to go over to our um, fake website, our fake shop. I'm going to go to the put in the page here and I'm going to connect that. So here, this will bring up the connected uh, tag assistant debug window um, and also we've got the tag assistant window here this is going to track all of our actions that we take on our site so if you go ahead and you fill in the information and you complete the conversion action on your site so I'm going to submit that so I clicked on that button so it will take me to a thank you page but I don't want to track the thank you page we're going to be tracking the action the event of clicking on that button so I'm going to go now back to the tag assistant window and I'm going to try to isolate and find where that click was. So on the left hand side here, you'll see that the thank you page loaded. So this is the thank you page. That was the contact page. You can see that form submit trigger we set up happened, but you can also see that the click happened as well. So on this click, I'm going to try to say this is, uh, this is a click event here. Check on the variables. And then that is the click that on that button and the reason why I know that is because I can see that the click text was submit so that corresponds to what the button was so it says submit so it's a submit button so what we need to do here is identify a unique variable data layer variable value that we can use to track this particular action, this particular event on our site, because then we can set up a conversion for that unique event. So if we have a look here, we've got a couple of different things. We've got the click classes, WP forms submit. We've got the click element. We've also got things like form element and form ID. So all of these things can be used. In this case, this scenario, I'm gonna use the click ID. So the click ID shows us that we've got this value of WP forms uh, submit 66. So we can take that, we can copy that to our clipboard. And we go back over to Google Tag Manager. And now we're going to set up a new trigger. So a new trigger, and it's going to be a click. And it's going to be our CTA call to action button click, which is that submit button. And once again, we're going to go to clicks and all elements, but this time we're going to hit some clicks. Now we just want to check what that was, and the variable was actually click ID. So we need to select in here, click ID. We're going to leave contains, and then we're going to paste that value that we found, which was WP forms uh, dash submit dash 66. So now we've set, we're setting up a trigger that's only going to trigger when that particular button is clicked. Now you can combine additional things if you want to um, make it even more specific. In this case, we should be fine. Um, but like as an example, if we were to say, uh, you know, we just want to do the click text submit. Well, actually on our website, there might be a lot of forms on our site that have submit as our click text. So it might be, you know, we might have a submit button, 
you know, a, on a variety of places on the website. Therefore, we might want to set up a trigger that is click text submit and also it's on this particular page URL. So you can, you know, you can further filter down and, and identify and specify when that trigger should fire. In this case, we're just going to use this click ID. Um, <clears throat> hit save. So we've got the trigger. The next thing we need to do is set up the tag. So we go to tags and now we need to go to new tag. Um, we can call this uh, LinkedIn ads or however you want, just a descriptive name, um, CTA button, click, I'm going to put event conversion. Uh, so yeah, we just have something that's a descriptive name so we know exactly what it is. We click on tag configuration box and now it's not in the featured tags and it's not something that comes with uh, already installed in, in Google Tag Manager. We have to go to discover more tag types in the community template gallery. And then in this window, once it loads, we need to go to the search icon and search for LinkedIn and the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 should appear. If you click that and then add that to your workspace and add, this will give you this um, links at this new LinkedIn Insight Tag, um, basically template that we can use in, in Google Tag Manager. And then we can use the information that's provided back in our LinkedIn um, conversion setup page. So we need, this is our Insight Tag ID or our Partner ID. We copy that code. We put that in the Partner ID, Insight Tag ID section. We come back over and we get the conversion ID. We copy that code and we go back to Google Tag Manager, paste that in, and then we select triggering. And then we find the trigger that we've set up, which is the click CTA button click, which we've just set up. So you select that. So now when this trigger happens, it's going to fire this tag. So basically, it's going to tell LinkedIn um, that this conversion has happened, right? So it's good. the trigger is going to trigger the tag to fire, and the tag is going to send the information to LinkedIn. LinkedIn is going to, you know, measure that conversion action. Save that. Then we can return to preview mode. So we can actually close these two tabs, and then we'll have make sure that we definitely got like a completely ref completely refreshed. Um, uh, debug window and tagger system and then we just complete that conversion again right so we just do that uh, let's just do a test message and then we just click on this button and then we come back over to the tag assistant and then we can look for that we can see so first of all we can see that the, both of the tags here that we're that we have are fired so our LinkedIn insight tag is fired for page views which is great but actually we can see that our event conversion has fired one time. So now it, we can actually isolate where that fired by going to find that click on that button, which I think should be here. So that was the click that when we clicked on the submit button and you can see that that tag fired on that button, um, on that button click. So everything is working um, all as expected. So you can see here that the firing triggers, the, you know, we've got two confirmation that have, you know, it was a click. And also the click ID contained that WP form submit 66 click ID, which we specified. So the tag, uh, sorry, the trigger fired and therefore the tag fired and send the information to LinkedIn. So if that's all good and you're happy with that, then we can come out of here, close this down and we can submit. So you go to the submit button. So we can put added uh, event. Uh, conversion LinkedIn and if you add more of a description you can do you can publish now that's published to the live site so that's that's now on the live site okay so it's that's 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 all kind of in place we go back over to the LinkedIn insight uh, sorry the LinkedIn conversion tracking page now we can finish off the creation of that click create and then you'll be on the right page to con to check your uh, conversion tracking 
So sometimes this can take a few hours for it to um, appear as, and receive the signal. Um, you need to have be, you need to be having traffic to your website for it to obviously work and people completing this goal. Um, but sometimes it can take a while for LinkedIn to start picking LinkedIn ads to start picking this information up. So it's just that just to bear in mind, really. Um, the signal then should obviously like appear like this thank you page one does five minutes ago you should start to see it go green and then you should should know that it's actually working and collecting information and it's you know it's being fired and, and linkedin is, is is seeing that um after say 24 hours if it's still no signal and you know that you people have been or you've been actually um testing this so for example if i go through that again <coughs> And fill that in and submit so i'll do that one time do another refresh sorry go to contact do another refresh do another one so i know that i've i've clicked this button and submitted this form and click this button i know that i've done that twice now um so if i refresh over here See, it might it might not come through straight away. It might take a little while. So if it doesn't happen within twenty four hours, then you'd have to start troubleshooting the reasons why um, that might not be working. Um, so yeah, but that's how you you set up um, events uh, event tracking uh, using uh, Google Tag Manager. Um, probably the simplest way and, and easiest way that you can set up event tracking on LinkedIn Ads. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, and yeah, look out for future videos. I'll try and include as much in the description as possible so you can check out our other videos and ones that are relevant to this as well. Um, but I hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching.